In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Wildfire JSON feeds and how you can use them to create an offer wall that provides a list of merchants with which your users can earn cash back. The Wildfire JSON feeds provide regularly refreshed data in an easy-to-read format. The feeds can be accessed without authentication. All URLs for the Wildfire JSON feeds follow the same format. App ID is the application ID. Type is the type of feed you want to interact with, for example, merchant or active domain and version is the data format version. As of today, the only version is one for all of these feeds. For this project, we will be using the active domain, merchant, and featured merchant feeds to make an offer wall. In order to build our offer wall, we're going to start with a featured merchant feed. It wouldn't make much sense to provide end users with a list of all 17,000 merchants that Wildfire makes available to our partners. And so we'll want to use a subset of high quality merchants in this offer wall. The featured merchant JSON contains unique identifiers for merchants who are good candidates to highlight in an offer wall. Let's create a simple script that fetches all the IDs from the featured merchant JSON and prints them to a page. Note that we have to declare a user agent as part of the wildfire policy for requesting data. At this point, we've printed all the IDs onto the page and next, we will add the merchant name and logo to these listings. The Merchant Metadata JSON includes information about each merchant, such as its name, associated categories, and one or more images. Images have an associated type, and for our demo, we'll be using a logo image type. Back in our example script, we'll loop through all of the merchants from the Merchant Metadata JSON and look for matches against the featured merchant IDs. We'll build a simple output array and return the same list of featured merchants, but this time including the name and logo image. Now we have a nice list of merchants with images and names, but your end user is going to want to know how much cash back they could earn with that merchant. That's where the active domain fiend comes in. A third request is made to the active domain JSON, which contains the maximum cash back rate for each merchant offer. The active domain JSON provides a map of domains and maximum cash back rate with the associated merchant. The ID at the top of each object is the domain ID, and we'll need to store this in order to build our cash back activation URL. Similar to the previous step, we need to loop through this list of domains and find the matching merchant and its associated max rate. You'll build this URL using a couple pieces of data. You just need to know the associated domain ID and device ID. The D value is your device ID, and the C value is your domain ID for the merchant. You can learn more about how to create a device for your application and the Getting Started with the Wildfire Postman Collection intro video. It's important to know the max rate can be one of two types. Some merchants pay out a flat amount, like $5, but most merchants pay a percentage-based amount. Now we have a list of merchants with their max rates described and clickable tiles to activate cash back. We recommend a best practice of describing the max rate and a call to action like earn up to 4% at Derm Store because many merchants have different cash back rates as part of their terms. If you have any additional questions, check out the Wildfire knowledge base documentation or contact Wildfire's client success team. Thanks for watching.